Bonita from Knitting in the Mitten here, and I'm at my neighbor's house, Jeff and Teresa, and they're in Ohio right now. And so I snuck over to take some of their blackberry plants, which they said I could take, but I still feel weird about it. So I thought now's the perfect time because they're not here. So um, I dug up, I don't know, maybe a dozen, and I'm going to plant them at my house. And these plants have thorns and my blackberry plants do not have thorns so this will maybe be a blackberry bramble at some point but blackberries are so good and so I'm willing to take that chance hey this is my neighbor's property they have beautiful land and these are a bunch of blackberry bushes and only just a part of them so you can see that they have plenty to spare and I've been trying to take them from the shadiest spots where they probably wouldn't grow anyway. It's a beautiful fall day. I don't know what the temperature is but I've got jeans and a t-shirt on and I'm warm. Uh, this is my wagon load that I've dug up so far and I'm going to get a couple more and then I'm going to go plant them at my house. So I dug up as many blackberries as I think I need for the little space that I created for them. I put cardboard and straw down, I don't know, a month or two ago to get a space ready in my meadow. And I pulled that stuff away and it looks like nice wet dirt without any weeds on top. So I'm going to try planting these and then maybe I'll go to the feed store and get a bale of straw to put on them to protect them and so I remember where they are and I don't go over them. There's been a bird hollering at me. Not sure what she's upset about because there's plenty of blackberries for her. And I didn't stir up a nest or anything, so I guess she just wants privacy out here. I saw someone drive out of the lane a while ago. They probably came to feed the cats and dog and let the dog out. And that's when I decided it was my chance to come over here because nobody would see me. But I did check, text Jeff and Teresa to tell them that I was coming over to take some blackberry plants and they were totally fine with that. So it's great to have neighbors that you can share things with. Let's go see if we can see any frogs in the pond without falling in. I see little tiny minnows in there. I don't usually see fish in there. And I thought maybe a frog would go kerplop when I walked over here, but haven't heard any yet. Isn't that a lovely sound? Oh, the water is rippling, so... Maybe something jumped in. Now, if I see a snake, I will scream and probably drop the phone. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some fish in there. It's like a little baby school of fish. 
They have a little tiny greenhouse. Sorry, a little tiny birdhouse in the tree. Isn't that adorable? And they have lots of fish. Um, tree art around the pond, which is appropriate for a pond. So my property butts up very closely to Jeff and Teresa's driveway. So where that tree is, I think that tree probably is about the property line. So Jeff asked me, I don't know, a year or two ago, if he could rip out all the Russian olive bushes that were probably on my property. And I kind of liked them, but I didn't really care either way. And if he wanted to do something different and he has to drive past it every day, then go for it. So he ripped them all out or had somebody rip them out and he planted um, Rose of Sharon. There are all these little trees here. And um, eventually, when they're bigger, they will flower and be a beautiful border. I wonder if this is poison ivy. Nope. It's not leaves of three, so it's not poison ivy. But I do have a beautiful patch of poison ivy growing up my tree in front of my house. And I just haven't bothered to dig it out. I tried to do what I could to put the garden to bed today, so I did some work in there. And the weeds really took over this year, so I need to do something different or just need to do better next year. So see that bear patch? That's where these blackberries are going. So let's get them planted. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And some of them have many shoots. So I will be super surprised if I get anything next year, but maybe in a year, in a couple of years, I will have a prickly blackberry patch. At least I hope so because my thornless blackberry bush does okay but I need more. I thought I'd check on my vegetable garden which as you can see is also a weed garden but my kale which didn't do didn't do very good this year. Um, got eaten by bugs. Teresa said hers got eaten by bugs too, so I guess it's not just me. Now it's growing again, so maybe I'll get to harvest some of that. And I have lots of carrots, but it's advisable to wait until after the first frost to pick them because then they will be much sweeter, and I have found that to be true. I wonder if my mom knows she has broccoli growing over here. She said she had cabbage, but she didn't say anything about broccoli. Um, we cleaned up the tomato or the strawberry patch this year, so it was full of weeds that were half as tall as me after we got back from vacation. So we put down weed block and replanted all of them. So it looks real nice and we'll see what happens in the spring. So thanks for hanging out with me on this beautiful fall day and for watching my project.